Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. No, you didn't miss an episode. Uh, I decided I would go back to the ruins to, you know, since I knew what to expect, I just like, oh, I just want to like clear it out again. But apparently it generated differently. I thought that maybe I had generated the tile before I left Gritgate for some reason, but I didn't. Anyway, we're in this situation with a legendary goat folk, so that's kind of a thing. Hated by frogs. What a terrible, terrible choice we have to make here. If I have to choose between making friends with Mamon Soul Drinker or frogs, I mean, we could do the frogs achievement in the in a different playthrough. There has to be multiple playthroughs no matter what. Um, but we're like, look at that. We're, we're pretty close to making friends to, to frogs. Where's Goat Folk? Goat Folk is at plus or negative 300. So I'm pretty sure if I made friends to this lad, then they, uh, we would be high enough reputation to possibly make friends with Mamon Soul Drinker. Um, that being said, I don't think I have a tonic. Do I have a tonic? I don't have a tonic. So I would have to... I would have to basically try to do this with Beguiling. I don't really want to do it, if I'm being honest. So a lot of guys here I'm gonna have to take care of, including a lot of soul, uh, seed sowers. Let's, uh, back up and hope that the seed sowers make their way- Oop. Yep. Upstairs. We are bleeding. Seems like they're- they've given up a little bit. I don't know, like, f really? Frogs? You had to, like, I don't know. Just seems not worth it. Um, I mean, if we make friends to goat folk, it doesn't rule out the possibility of making friends with frogs. So, I don't know, choose, let's, let's try it. Um, where is our congealed love. Do we not have any? I thought we had some. Huh. Huh. Oh, right. Well, no, not right, but uh, I, I, I guess uh, I did a bunch of preserve preservation um, before we I dived down into this ruin. So that's why I was like wondering, like, why? I thought I had some stuff preserved, but you know, seems like nothing. So uh, I got to do all of this again. Um, rubber gum, and I was gonna like play around with some of that stuff, but I thought I had even one congealed love tonic, but it seems like no. So I have I have nothing. I have no no way to make friends with anyone right now. That's a real bummer. Um So I guess this uh this ruin is like a f kind of done now. Like I I could make friends to frogs, but like it, that whole, you know, frog business is only going to matter if I get really lucky and find a legendary frog. That's it. So uh I'm going to use my recoiler for Bimu, do we still have the Bimu recoiler? Um, I don't think we ever got a Bimu, so we're gonna have to walk there on foot. And I think it's to our east, so we're just gonna we'll we'll, we'll take take a chance on uh, the river. Alishan, they're hostiles. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm friends to the Isakari, or not Isakari? No, I'm not. Okay, apparently I'm not friends to these guys. And of course there's a seed sower. They took out like a third of our health. All right, so, you know, if you didn't catch it in the last episode, the plan is to go to Bimu and um, kind of lay waste. This isn't my preferred way of playing Cud. Uh, I've been a little bit vocal about this in the past, but, um, you know, I don't necessarily like to play uh, violent, you know, that's Bimimur. Where's where's Bimu? Hold on a second. I don't like to play a violent playthrough, 
But um, I figured, you know, this is a, a... We're already enemies to Bimu. One pair saying north of the ruins of Jopa. Oh. I, I went completely the wrong way. I guess I'll be marking goat folk villages on our map. The plan is still to make friends with goat folk. Make no mistake, that has not changed. But my problem with all of these villages is none of them have people in them that we can make friends with. They all tend to be uh, just, you know, just normal goat folk, no legendaries. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, so we'll continue towards Bimu. Bimu is in our default village, was it? I'm pretty sure it was Dimava or whatever it was called. Yeah, so like, no one likes us in Bimu. Oh, that, I might be wrong about that, actually. I thought we we betrayed Bimu pretty, pretty good. And I thought that we were basically hated by them. Uh, we are not liked. Dislike you, but docile ones won't attack you. Okay, well... So let's, uh, let's make some enemies. Loved by the villagers of Deva, hated by the denizens of Eid Freehold, admired by frogs! <laughs> Why am I constantly being asked to make this choice? Hated by the denizens of Eid Freehold, I don't think I can... Well, first of all, there goes my plan. I can't make enemies to frogs. That's just not on the table. Why am I constantly being asked? Yeah, I'm already not on great terms with Eid Freehold. Hated by the Merchants Guild. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Everyone's friends to frogs when it matters. Oh, oh, you, 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 you came to destroy our village? I swear I'm I'm friends to frogs. I know I know a guy. Like my best friends are frogs. I swear to God. You can you can take a hike with that business. So what am I doing? Well I'm in the art rusted archway, aren't I? You know, when you've run out of ideas, go to the rusted archway. I know someone um I, a long time ago was streaming and someone said that they made a reactor. Uh, uh, uh they animated a reactor. Uh, and it turned out to be a really, really good companion because they have really tough, a really tough exterior. And then when they die, they basically explode. But don't they take out like the whole screen? Like it's not okay. <laughs> um, they they might like lit literally go nuclear and, and destroy everything in its wake, including me. So I, I really don't know if that's necessarily a great idea. It's a novel idea for sure. Ring mail, musket. Uh, the, so the rusted archway is like very much, um, red not redundant. It's, it is, there's nothing for us here. You know, it's not, uh, not great, but it's something to do. There are some cybernetics credits at the bottom and I think a couple of, uh, a becoming nook. I think there's always a guaranteed becoming nook. Um, and we, I know for sure I, I will, you know, nothing here can take us out. I really thought that was the case in the ruins as well, but apparently there was at least one creature that had the, the ability to destroy us. They did so much damage to us in like two hits. So, you know, not ideal. Sometimes it, it's like that, you know, you're, you're, um, basically unkillable until you're dead. Sucks. Okay. Continuing down. Rusted Archway isn't doesn't go too deep. It's fine. Uh, we are fighting actual Cud, aren't we? That's Kudzu. My least I think one of my least favorite enemies to fight in uh, Caves of Cud. I'm just like mashing the attack nearest because it's not letting me explore. If there's a hostile on screen, which basically everything is hostile. That's a, you know, I would love to turn it down to like, you know, ignore everything trivial, but 
I just can't really afford to do it. There's too many things that, you know, can possibly hurt us permanently. You know? We get really unlucky and come across, like, a life sap that permanently destroys our health. Treat this as scrap. Get the salve. Missile launcher, wow. I'd be excited if, uh, you know, like, meh. Bleh. Like, it's so late game now. It just doesn't matter. Just mashing that attack nearest. Oh, there's the become becoming nook. I'm pretty sure we're at the bottom. Miner's helmet. Pretty nice. Oh, there's two becoming nooks. Impaled. Uh, oh my god. That's like the worst implant we can find because it is worth taking. It's good money, except it's not good weight. Some cybernetics we've never seen. Skin glitter. So I could become a vampire. There's like three people who are going to find that funny and then the rest of you are just going to be angry at me. <laughs> Alright, well, we're done here in the rusted arch archway. I did modify all of our stuff with the uh, stuff in like... Oh, I don't know if I put the antimatter. I didn't. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. My apologies. I thought I put the antimatter uh, cells in all of this stuff, but it won't take a second. Replace cell. You know, the worst part about dying in that la the last episode is um, I lost the metamorphic polygel. That was a ch such a nice find. I was so excited about that. Because I was finally going to... Like, all I need to do is find one really good pistol and then modify it to a ridiculous extent and then and then I can duplicate it. Pretty sure that will still work. I don't know if that's been nerfed. Maybe it has. Um, okay. So, where are we going now? I do need to go to the Rainbow Wood for multiple reasons. Um... Let me see. We could do, we could do ruin diving again, just a different ruin. It really sucks. I I this has been such a frustrating playthrough when it comes to reputation because like every single time I come across a you know, a creature. Oh, that's a legendary voider. Admired by dromad merchants, loved by arachnids. Well, I don't really want to kill this guy, but he's not giving me much choice, is he? Um, I wish there were more methods of making friends with people. Because, like, you know, seriously, needing love injectors and not having any way to get them at all kind of sucks. It sucks, and it feels really limiting. Uh, and I'm not sure how to, like, you know, m m navigate the situation at all. Because, like, what do, what do you do? <laughs> how do you get love injectors? You gotta find someone who sells them, maybe. Except no one sells them. I almost, like, want to take a chance on Mutation Roulette. Here's an idea. Uh, I take a chance on Mutation Roulette, hoping for Beguiling. Because that's what we really need. We need Beguiling. And then, if I don't get it, then I die in some kind of hilarious way. <laughs> I know that's save scumming, essentially, so I, I won't do that. But um, I'm getting kind of tempted. I'm a little bit desperate. There's only the one... It really is just the one mutation that would help. I don't think domination is going to help. Because I don't think you can... You can't really force someone to make friends with you. I Believe me, I've tried. It doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I guess you could proselytize them. I do have proselytize. 
Like, I have proselytization. Have I not? Have, I guess, like, I've, I've gotten very alienated from using proselytize because it just, it never seems to work when I really need it to. You know, the one thing you can say about using love injectors is it works. It really does work pretty much every time. I don't think it's ever not, not worked, except for creatures that have a really, really high pen, or sorry, AV because then you just, it's, it's very difficult to actually hit them with the love injector. So yeah, there are, there are moments. I'm playing a little bit too fast and loose here. Um, there are moments where love injector don't actually work, but those are very rare. I'm being forced to play fast and loose because I have, I, like I end up stopping like every five seconds. Got some books, that's not bad, that's something. These things are still worth 50 XP, which at this point is kind of ridiculous to me. We have some cider. Brackish cider, but cider all the same. Wouldn't mind finding out about some more historic sites. Oh, that was the thing, I was gonna do the historic site, wasn't I? I should do that. You know what? There's some furniture up here. Let's uh, let's animate some furniture. I just want... That's what I want to do. I want to animate furniture exclusively. Activate. This chair... Or sorry, table is now animated. Um, I don't know. They don't seem to be able to move around much. Um, this other table also animated. Fra fragrant table. Nice. Yeah, they don't, they don't seem to be able to move around. They have nothing to trade. Well, I don't really want to trade with them. I just want to talk. What am I? <laughs> You're a table. You hold things. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's animate that shelf. There's nothing viable to animate there. How dare you? Can we animate this um, grinder or whatever it is? Fragrant, wet, bizarre contraption. Yeah. Now let's examine them. Wouldn't it? Be, oh, it's a millstone. Wouldn't it be terrible if I examined them badly and then broke them? What is live? What is drink? Well, you're gonna have to figure that one out. Is that a is that a lamp over there that I could imbue? Let me let me animate this lamp. We will recreate uh, Beauty and the Beast. No, oh, he won't let me imbue the lamp. That's that's just terrible. Oh, I think the yeah this this lad seems to actually move around, which is nice. Well, that was fun. We animated a few things. We're famished. We're also inspired. So let's go ahead and cook some stuff. I want to try to cook some new things. Um, I'm going to try this shade oil. And um, what else? Maybe the fermented tongue. Let's try that. Whenever you get stuck, there's a 50% chance you phase out for 20 turns. Whenever you phase out, you shoot out up to three sticky tongues per sticky tongue at rank 10. Uh, is sticky tongue a mutation I don't know about? Phase effects last twice as long. Can use sticky tongue at level 4-5. If you already have sticky tongue, it's enhanced. Okay. So we have sticky tongue. That sounds kind of cool. I, I, I kind of want to, like, set that to a, a key. Tongue. You capture prey with your sticky tongue. Okay, what, what could we set this to? F6? Yeah, let's set that to F6. Uh, let's tongue something. F6. Yo, that's neat. It's got a bit of a cooldown, but that's okay. We actually, uh, some of our armor got cracked there. That's no good. 
I think it's got a new term. It doesn't, it's not cracked anymore. Oh, it is cracked. Oops. <laughs> I thought they changed the term because it, it didn't really make sense to people. Why, like, you, when your weapon gets cracked, does that mean it's, like, permanently destroyed? No. It, it, it eventually recovers from that effect. It's just kind of a debuff on your armor. Um, okay, life's, uh, these are just saps. Don't really want to deal with saps. Certainly, I'm not going to tongue a sap. Um, we could animate as many walls as we want, and that would certainly get us an achievement. Don't really want to do it that way. Like, I, I don't want to animate anything commonplace, you know? It just doesn't seem fitting to, to do that in CUD. That's why, why I wanted to go to Bimu and then um, clear it out and then animate all of the furniture and make it a uh, animated village. Because that, that's fun, you know? There's a, there's a certain novelty factor involved there. I don't know. I wonder if you can tongue a, uh, a livid creeper. Let's tongue, uh, didn't seem to work. You pull out a hidden lag root. What? That? What? That's weird. What's, what's with that? That's bizarre. Oh, there's a tinker. Yeah, there they are. Uh, I think they're out of turrets. They seem to, like, follow you around if, if they're out of turrets. Oh, we've got some contraptions over here. We could definitely animate a contraption. Ooh, carbide. And a rough agate gemstone. Um, let's go ahead and animate this other grindstone. I know we already did that. I could just like do, you know, if I've already done something, then, you know, I could not do it again. Can I animate this, um, Pist not piston. I forget what they're called. I always forget what they're called. Nothing viable to animate there. Okay. You know what would be nice is if we knew what these things were. A millstone, right? I keep uh, X like automatically um, disassembling acid uh, cells and uh, and then getting covered in acid, which isn't great. It's probably not doing very good for our, our armor, but it's pretty tough stuff, so I don't know if it'll matter too much. So I'm pretty sure there's a legendary glow pad over there. No. Okay, never mind. It's just a pond. Those those are like naturally occurring. They happen. Slimy juice sap. Oh, it's just a juice sap. And they're fighting that Arcanaut over there. I am just going to, like, shoot blindly into that pile. We have the uh, fitted with filters. We do still go to sleep occasionally. Um, but, you know, we're, we're really good against uh, gas. This uh, area is awful. Urchins, urchins kind of suck. They're circumstantially like awful. It's not baboon. Didn't know what what hit it. Oh, there's a hookah. We could animate the hookah. Let's animate the hookah. What do you mean? That's nothing viable. I can't think of anything more viable than animating a hookah. Can we animate this bed? Oh my god. Honestly, very disappointed by the, our, our, the limitations of animation. Wouldn't it be cool if you could animate a hookah and it was just like a really cool dude bro? 
that would like constantly offer you tokes that would be that would be pretty good i would definitely be down to be friends with the hookah i would not partake of course you know but you know it'd be friend don't you want to make friends with the hookah i wonder if you can animate a turret that seems like really scary <laughs> if you could make if you can animate a turret then they could walk around that that's their like greatest limitation right there taken care of the ability to walk around would just be insane um all right so let's um i kind of want to like i'm gonna make a meal out of skulk and hulk honey because i still need a good burrowing claws meal and i still don't have one <laughs> I, that's that's got to be the third or fourth time I've not gotten the burrowing claws meal, especially when I'm like trying to make a recipe. Oh, that's a dynamic turret tinker. Amazing. I'm just I I am gonna follow them. Uh, this guy can f off forever. Okay, this is what we wanted. They, they're, they're busy tinkering. Oh, we have a humor. Don't like it. You know what? Temporal fugue time. I don't even care if they end up killing the. D oh, what happened there? He missile. Hey, listen, buddy. You might be too uh, dangerous to, to allow alive. Because I, I just took almost full health of damage. Alright. I think we're... Oh, there's a dervish. There was a dervish. We got some... Uh, info oh. What is doing that? Uh, engraved psionic fluorite two-handed axe. I feel like there are mines. High explosive mine mark three. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll absolutely do it. That's why we're taking such insane damage. Okay, I don't I don't like this floor anymore. It's a particularly nasty elder beard. Luckily we're we're pretty good we're on, on okay terms with unshelled reptiles, but damn. Man! Cut it out. Hate that. The worst part is that we can't even see them. Like if I could see them. I'm not, I'm not going over there. Uh, uh, to hell with this floor. Oh, we have a Beetle. What do you got for me, Beetle? Three portions of concentrated sleet beard gland paste. Sleet beard. What? Enhanced prowess. We might have that. This is a small chance. Uh, no. <laughs> of course. Of course, the one, the one, uh, you know, elder that we have not been uh, coming across at all. Oh well, you know, can't win them all. We've been winning very few lately, I think. It's a weird thing, because, like, we're, you know, very powerful. Um, and, uh, you know, there's very few places to go. You know, when you're, when you're very, very high up like this, there are few places to go, but down. <laughs> Loved by the seekers of sightless way, hated by the snap jaws, and admired by antelopes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and temporal fugue and just let the chips fall where they may. 
I figured that was the case. There might be a few things here we can make uh, into living allies. Psionic weird artifact. Wouldn't it be nice if this was something we could use? Viral blade again, huh? We got some other stuff. Oh, we got a spiral borer. Oh my god, I... I'm so happy about that, actually. We have a broken something. Whatever it is, it's broken. Okay, well, let's fix it then. We have five fix-it spray foams. Flaming bizarre contraption. Weird artifacts broken inventory. What is this bizarre contraption? Whatever it is, it's broken. I mean, that's cool. Um, Alright, so what is this? Semi-automatic pistol. Well, that was 100% not worth using a fix-it spray foam. Um... Yeah, I mean, this floor was something. There's a bunch of... <laughs> in the wall for some reason, there's a bunch of um, mills we could turn... Oh, there's a there's a mill we could turn into a, 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 a living thing. Full right psionic dagger. We're, we're just not getting too lucky with the psionic weapons, unfortunately. If I get... If I find myself a crystal, like, uh, mace... Or even crystal flaming, <laughs> flawless crystal um, mall, then that would be amazing. Wait a minute. Yeah, Warhammer. Okay. I was just wondering, like, am I have I been using an axe this whole time? Because that would be so stupid of me. Okay, activate. Bizarre contraption. It's imbued. Look at it go. It it do be spinning. What is this? Moldering corpse. Nice. Um, wet rocket skates. Those are nice. Full right mall is quite nice too. I, I like that mercurial uh, in the in the wall there. That is like my favorite mercurial because like it really does. It really isn't hurting anyone. Kind of, I'm gonna imbue this other wheel. We're we're imbuing water <clears throat> water wheels with life here, and I have to do that four more times, and then I will have become a god. Chain turret. Where is the chain turret? Uh, wherever it is, it doesn't matter. A vast animus. Oh, hello. Kill. We haven't yet found one of the... Oh, rocket turret is still a danger to us. Like, it, it, it can take us out, for sure. I, I honestly... The, the only thing I'm really missing is a three-point defense drone. That's that's really it. Because, like... The, the the point defense... I, I don't know if it's three point. Just point defense. Is that a sleep beard? It is a sleep beard. We gotta kill that guy. I'm sorry. Oh, we didn't get a corpse. Shoot. Um, the defense drone, like, since we have antimatter cells, so many antimatter cells, would actually, like, do work. Like, it would help us take out, um, you know, a... a Wow, we got some interesting stuff here. Take out a chrome pyramid, for instance. I don't like this guy. I don't really want to go to your den, my dude. Let's conk them. There we go. They're worth quite a bit of experience. So what is this? Hydraulic turbine. Hey, hydraulic turbine. You can't hear me yet, but how would you like to be alive? Yes, I would. I would. Very good. You are now imbued with life. And uh, what about you, fusion pumping station? How would you like to be alive? 
you could be a quite a dangerous threat to me if I'm being honest but yeah I can't I can't say no your gleaming eyes filled with ambition tell me that you would love to be alive so I will make it so and uh, tell you what I'll also make your I'll give you a friend here your other hydraulic turbine maybe you guys can figure something out and uh, you know work together I'm not going to imbue any pipes with life, uh, so you guys are going to have to figure out the, the mechanics of, you know, working together yourselves. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how, how it works because I don't think I understand. You know, I'm not saying you have to be friends, but I am saying I'm not going to give you any other candidates so this mimic is being largely ambitious i want to take out the mimic before it dies horribly because that was uh gonna be some pretty good xp that i just got i've almost leveled up it's taken a while for sure we are 19 strata deep we just got inspir inspired with another some more meal ideas maybe just maybe we could get the Freaking burrowing claws meal that I need. Flaming ray. Ah, and burrowing claws. There it is. So we have flaming ray as well. I don't think flaming ray is a mental mutation. It sucks I didn't do it with Hulk honey, honestly. Um, so, fl yeah, flaming ray is only at level 2. That confirms for sure that it is not a mental mutation. Tempted, I, uh, you know, if I had like psychometry, no, wait, not this. Is it psychometry? I can't remember. It's the, I think it is psychometry. The one that lets lets you travel back in time. Then I could basically, um, I could justify sca save scumming in this game, like in game at least at the very, you know, because then I could I could get some mutations. You know, if I don't like them, re-roll them later, maybe. Can I imbue a statue with life? Like an eater's statue? Sorry about that peak there. Nothing viable to animate there. I don't know. This game has an interesting idea of viable. Because I can't think of anything more viable to animate than a statue. Does that not... Like, am I, am I off base there? Does a statue not seem like the perfect thing to animate like maybe i've just read too much wizard of oz but you know i just think that that would be incredible oh we're we were confused a little actually i think there was a flash screen hey crystal gauntlet i don't think we need that anymore <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Crystal Gauntlet Beetle that I found uh, is no longer uh, a Crystal uh, Gauntlet Beetle. You know what happens there, right? Because, like, what happens is the, the tile got reset and, re you know, it's it's a different tile. It's a different, completely different place now. Um... So apparently with burrowing claws, if you hit auto explore, your dude really makes full, full uh, extent of that. But yeah, like it's it's re it'll it resets that whole um, tile, and so there will be like two betels in it, just the same as I as before. But those two betels will be very different. If we were going by my old rules uh, and justifications, then what the heck? just happened there that was weird oh did I did I get to uh, burn through the floor I kind of think so um, then I wouldn't be able to go back there but this is carrying too much to oh we picked up some more stuff then the, you know we're, this is a different series and I, I don't mind going back there again um, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to reprogram one of my reprogrammable recoilers. Um, let's install a cell 
doesn't matter what. Um, solar cell, may as well. Um, imprint it. Does not have enough charge. So I guess they need more charge than a solar cell can provide. Nuclear cell it is. Go ahead and imprint it. And then we're going to go to... I'm actually going to go to uh, Ezra. Because I still need, I think, four Ezra recoilers. I will have to drop some stuff anyway. What kind of tool did we get? We have so many tools. Oh, I guess the spiral borer is actually like insanely heavy. Um, I don't think I need this palladium room to bekish recoiler anymore. It's, it, it, not, not really much point in having that. So I think we're okay now. Let's talk to Ela and grab an Ezra recoiler. Why do you ha why? Are you really going to make me spend 600 drams on your like recoiler as uh, Eva? That's such a pain in the butt. I can't even tell you. Hey, a lacquered pistol. That could be something. Okay, that's there we go. We've got the perfect amount of drams there. Uh, spacer rifle. Uh, if only it was a spacer pistol. That's a that's a bummer. Okay, so what kind of uh, pistol do we have here? Uh, I, I guess it's one we already know. You're puzzled. Um, laser pistol. Not not really worth it. But we can sell that for a nice chunk. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Eat Freehold. We'll buy some bits. We'll, we'll spend some money. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I wanted to go back to... Sorry. I'm going to go back to Ezra for a second. Sorry about this. But um, I want to see if I can learn how to make the spiral borer. I think it might be Tinkering 2. There's a small chance it might be Tinkering 3. Really hope it's not. Um, what... Why why did it why did we stop? Okay. I think I was hungry there for a moment. Um so I've actually just got an achievement. And I think the achievement was get past 40 glimmer. There are some glimmer based achievements including get 200 glimmer and I'm hoping to do that on this run. Um So let's go ahead and um let's try and figure out if we can make a, sp a spiral borer yes oh, that is excellent i'm i'm really happy about that spiral borers so good so good um didn't mean to do that okay so we're gonna go to back to eat freehold now right Where are you? Okay. Let's just recharge it. Yeah. One one bit to, to recharge it sounds like a good trade, honestly. All right. Let's buy some bits. I don't know why we're buying bits. There's still, like I say, there's basically nothing we want. Liquid cooled. Uh, we could use that. Metered, maybe um hand hey is this this is only tinker too we could tinker so ourselves up another handrail that would be really nice um could buy some other weird artifacts i'm i'm basically going to just to like learn everything um you know, like, we're, we're at a point, like I say, it really doesn't matter what we spend our money on. Because um, I've got everything. This is a, you know, this is a state that every single run is eventually going to reach. Wherein, like, I, I don't have much exciting ways of improving the run anymore. And so I just end up buying stuff. For the sake of like you know a checklist, uh, some kind of weird um, imaginary checklist. Um, okay, let's 
make this trade. You don't have 66 trams, don't I? I don't. Okay, copper nuggets then. And what else? Well, I, I guess I, is it worth using a fixer, um, fix it spray foam on a silver nugget? I don't think so. We'll have to pony up 11 drams. That'll put us at zero. We have some Zeta Chrome uh, arrows we could trade. Here, there we go. Perfect. Get rid of some stuff I don't need at all. Um, and now we're going to have to... Well, let's examine all of this stuff. I don't know why I'm carrying around this wrist fan. Ninefold boots. I think those are actually good. There's, a, there's a, something about them that is very good, but I can't remember what transparent skin so we got some more transparent skin i'll have to trade those again this is another implant and the bionic hands eh b why so oh i already know liquid cooled shoot but i i didn't know metered so that's fine we can trade we can treat uh, data discs as trade fodder honestly and now let's disassemble all of this stuff sorry again uh, about the heavy like inventory management it's a un it's a necessary evil, I'm afraid. Disassemble all this. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go and check out the 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 general store. Also check out our friend the um, apothecarist. You never know; they might have love injectors. They don't, but you, you, maybe one day. Almost kind of want to start buying recipes from them, just just for the heck of it. Why not? Um, let's trade these two. All right, so uh, we'll read that. One serving of wine, vine wafer sheaf, one serving of mashed lag, one serving of congealed honey, plus four willpower. Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you have a 50% chance to dismember. <laughs> I never know what that means. So uh, there's a couple of recipes here. One serving of vine wafer sheaf, one serving of congealed love, one serving of freeze dried horseshoes. Cold resist, whenever you gain a new follower, you don't thirst for the next 12 hours. And then finally we have an acid resist, whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you cause plants to spontaneously grow in a random nearby area. Nice. Three recipes for the price of one. That's actually quite good. I didn't know that they came with three recipes. So I might uh, take it, uh, take those recipes a bit more seriously in the future. Crystal gauntlets. We have a small cube. I don't know what that is, so we'll buy that. Uh, we have some taco supremas. I'll buy those. Crystal dagger. Crystal longsword for. Um, oh, love injector. Yes. Heck yeah, bud. Okay, uh, I am going to sell the crystal gauntlets. I really don't think we're going to need those. I could eat my words, but um, you know what? My words are pretty tasty. I don't, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I enjoy the flavors, the, the complex and nuanced flavors of both my words and also crow. So I, I'm cool with both of those. And we're going to trade um, whatever we can here. Laser pistols, we'll trade all of those. That almost brings us up to what we need. Silver nuggets, may as well. I actually am kind of out of trade goods. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I could, uh, unfortunately I'd have to bail out of this, but I'll pull out the thermoelectric cell from the Ezra recoiler and sell that. It's got eight trams. Sucks that we have to bail out and do this again, but you know, such it, it oh, still, wait, do we still need still beard gland paste? I don't think we do. I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Betel got yeeted into the void um, we do still need this Yeshurkin. Um, let's sell these compass bracelets. I have nav on my, on my helmet, so I don't need nav bracelets. We'll sell this liquid cooled. All right. Uh, 
luminous sh horse shrooms. I could, you know, uh, preserve them, but doesn't seem necessary. There we go, and we're getting pretty close, and I'll just sell the these silver nuggets and also our thermoelectric cell. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Perfect. That actually brings us to a perfect round number there. We have a lot of water. So that's good. Um, we could make a trip to the six-day stilt. Um, for what reason, I'm not sure. Just to, like, you know, do some stuff, I guess. What is this? Metered solar cell. Okay, well, we'll treat these as scrap and disassemble that. All right. Um, we have a lot of herbaries. I don't need any more for a long time because, like, they do actually cost... Like, they, they're, they, they have weight. So each one of them cost, is a pound. Um, we're getting up there in terms of, like, weight. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is go... We're going to go to Great Gate real quick i i really can't tell you how tired i am of having to deal with uh swapping around re around recoilers or sorry um energy cells where is our great gate okay here we go just recharge it i guess no okay we're gonna go to great gate and i'm just gonna dump some stuff off at our chest Because I have, I have just a lot of stuff. And uh, this episode's running really long. Um, I am going to... I'm going to go to... Um, the Six Day Stilt. But I think I'll just do some shopping uh, like off camera. Because it, you know, I keep ending up in, in like store menus. And I'm sure that's not very exciting to watch. Um... What can we what can we give up here? Basic toolkit. We could actually hand in the four Ezra recoilers. I don't need another one. Like I can easily walk back to Ezra. Not a big deal. Um, okay, so I think we're good. We could even like give up a, a bit of fresh water. Throw some fresh water in there, and then we have like some emergency reserves. Um, we've got tons of Taco Suprema in case we need to trade something. In case we you know, come across someone who has some really good stuff. I should dump off this gyrocopter backpack. I don't, there's not like really any reason for me to have that. All right. And uh, we're pretty good now for weight. Let's go to, actually Gritgate's not a bad place to walk to the stilt from. Heightened skill for congealed love. One day. I finally have a love tonic again. I could make friends with the, the third troll. We do need, like, more reputation with the trolls than just the ones that they can provide. Um, let's go ahead. I don't, I don't think I have any Sultan rep. Or, sorry, Sultan lore, but I'll check real quick. Um... You discovered a way to conceal yourself. What? Oh, I think uh, one of my recipe wore off. Yeah. You have no unshared. Wow, this has like been a very, like, dry run in terms of like lore of Reshef. We'll hand in all my books. Four thousand XP it was exactly enough to level us up. Crazy. Um, do I have an attribute point? I actually do. I'm going to throw it in intelligent, and I'm going to basically going to be swapping between intelligence and willpower. But I would actually like to get to Tinker 3. Um, and Ego, I'm not going to put any points in. I'm basically just going to rely on um, e like gaining Ego from, from uh, Wanderers, like interdimensional creatures. It's a bit of a risky way to play things, but I, I think it'll be fine. Uh, all right, so I'm going to 
peruse the wares of the stilt um, between episodes. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I think in the next episode we'll hit that uh, salt and croc historic ruin and just try and be very careful about it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Come on, come on, come